In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up your JTEC Digital H.264 encoder. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the encoder box. You can do this by connecting the encoder to the power source with a power cable, and then connecting the encoder to your laptop or computer with an Ethernet cable. Next, we're going to set up the IP address. So the encoder uses a static IP address and the address is 192.168.1.168 by default. In order to access it, we need to make sure that the computer's IP address has the same class C type 192.168.1.xx in order to match the address of the encoder. To change the IP address of the computer, we're going to press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the CMD command and type in control net connections into the box. We're gonna hit okay, and then this window will pop up. We're gonna double click on ethernet, and then we're gonna go ahead and select internet protocol version four and click on properties. We're gonna select the use the following IP address option and manually type in the address. So I will type in 192.168.1. And the last number can be any number from 1 to 254. So I'm just going to pick a random number like 115. And then we're also going to type in the subnet mask. It's going to be 255.255.255.0. And then we'll hit OK. So now that we've changed the IP address, we can go ahead and open the encoder user interface with your web browser. So let's go ahead and open Google Chrome and we're gonna type in 192.168.1.168 into the address bar. It's gonna ask for a login, so we're gonna use admin, A-D-M-I-N, as both your username and your password. So now we're in, this is the encoder web user interface where you can change the settings of the encoder we're going to click on the encoder tab and here you can see some of the settings that you can change like the frame rate, the bit rate, etc. And then next we're going to go to systems and click on network. Here you can change the IP and the DNS settings of your encoder to match your network. You can do that by assigning an IP address with the same first three numbers as your network's original IP address, followed by a number between 1 and 254. I don't need to do this because my original IP address already matches the encoder, so I'm going to skip this step. But once you're done changing it, you can click on apply and then restart the device. After that, we're going to disconnect the ethernet cable from your computer and connect the ethernet cable to your home or office network. So now that we're done with the configuration process, you can go ahead and open up a new browser page and type in the new IP address that you assigned to the encoder and it should take you to the encoder web interface. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your web browser and navigate to your encoder web user interface page by typing in the IP address. And we're gonna sign in with admin as your username and also your password. We're going to hit sign in. Once we get there, we're going to click on the encoder tab on the left. And we're going to scroll down to find the RTMP URL. We're going to select enable and click on apply. And we're going to restart the device. Next, we're going to copy the RTMP address with control C. And then we're going to open VLC media player. Once we get there, we're gonna click on the media tab and go down to open network stream. And then we're gonna paste the URL into this little box and then click on play. And that should do it. You should be able to see a preview of your video stream from your HDMI input within VLC media player. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the YouTube live streaming page 
and then we're going to scroll down to find the stream URL. We're going to copy the URL by hitting copy. And then we're going to navigate to the encoder interface, click on the encoder tab on the left side, and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the RTMP URL box. We're going to replace whatever is in that box by pasting the URL we copied from the YouTube page. And then we're going to go back to YouTube and do the same thing with the stream key. We're going to click on the little eye icon here to reveal the stream key and hit copy. And then we're going to go back to the encoder page and we're going to paste that stream key into the same box after the URL separated by a forward slash. So I'm going to type in a forward slash and then control V to paste the stream key. Next, we're going to select enable and click on apply. We're going to restart the device. And now the video source from your HDMI input should be streaming live on YouTube. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the Facebook Live Producer page. We're going to select the Use Stream Key option, and then we're going to scroll down to find the server URL. We're going to copy this address by hitting Copy. And then we're going to go to the Encoder page, click on the Encoder tab. We're going to scroll down to look for the RTMPS URL box. We're going to paste that address into the box. And then we're going to go back to Facebook and do the same thing with the stream key. We're going to copy it by hitting copy back to the encoder page. And then we're going to paste the stream key after the URL within the same box. We're going to select enable and click on apply. And then we're going to restart the device, click on OK. And now you should be able to see a preview of your live stream on Facebook. And whenever you're ready, you can click on Go Live to start the live stream.